This is the video tutorial for the Happy Days Twin wine bag. It's designed to hold two bottles of wine and you can use these bags to give as gifts or just take shopping with you to stop them rattling around in the car or with other grocery. And here's how you make it. And this is what you'll need. Fabric for the handles, fabric for the outer with fusible fleece on the back and fabric for the lining. We'll start by making the handle. I'm using a sample piece just for demonstration purposes, but obviously your handle will be much longer. Take your handle fabric and place it pretty sides down so you're looking at the back of the fabric. Fold in half matching up the raw edges and take it over to your iron and press. I've pressed it, now open up and using the line that's been pressed in the centre, take this edge and place it on that line and do the same for this side. and then take it out of your iron and press. I'll press the two sides to the centre crease and now I'm folding over and I'm going to add a few clips just to keep it all together. As I said before, your, your handles will be a, a lot longer than this. place some clips in and now I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and I'm going to top stitch both sides of the strap so all the way along the open side and along the other side. Once you've top stitched your handles are completed and we're going to put those to one side. Next take your two outer pieces and place them right sides together. I've already put my interfacing on the back. And line up the bottom edge and the side edges and then add some clips. I've added a few clips all the way around and now I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and using a half an inch seam allowance start at the top and sew all the way down to the bottom. Start again here at the very bottom and sew across. Stop. Start again here and sew right to the top. Note we're not sewing in the box corners. I've sewn all the way down both sides and along the bottom using half an inch seam allowance and now I'm going to box the corners. To box the corners, pop your fingers inside and pull apart. And then open the seams up at the bottom and at the side. and match these two seams up so they look like that and then add a clip or two or three. I'll put one on the side and I'll put one this side as well. It's a bit more difficult when you've got interfacing on. So that seam and that seam line up and once you're happy with it take it over to your sewing machine and once again half an inch seam allowance sew all the way across and repeat for the other box corner. I've boxed both corners and now I'm going to turn it the right way around 
by pulling through the top. I've turned it the right way out and now I'm going to put it to one side while we work on the lining. Take your two lining pieces and have the pretty side facing upwards as I have and then place this one on top of this one, pretty sides together. I'll place the linings right sides together so this is the pretty side and next I'm going to add some clips along there, along there and along there. I've clipped all the way around and I've remembered to leave a reminder for myself to leave a gap in the bottom because this is the lining. And now I'm going to take it over the sewing machine and use half an inch seam allowance as before, starting at the top, so all along to the bottom and stop along to where the gap starts and stop, start again and stop and then start again here back up to the top. Remembering to leave the box corners clear. I've sewn all the way down using half an inch seam allowance along the bottom and remember to leave a gap for turning and back up this side and now I'm going to box the corners and as we did before open up your fabric open up your seams might be better if you, you're doing it on the ironing board give them a nice press and open up this side hope you can see and line them all up match up the edges and as we did before add two or three clips I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine using half an inch seam allowance, so right across. And I'm also going to repeat that for the other box corner on the other side. I've repeated for, the, for both sides, so now I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and use half an inch seam allowance, sew along each of the corners. I've sewn both corners and I'm leaving it this way around so the wrong way and I'm going to put it to one side. Taking your outer piece that you made earlier we now need to find the centre and to do this open out your bag and using flatten out your seams inside and using these seams line them up. along there. You need to do this on your ironing board and then you could put a clip there if you wish but then you need to press a nice sharp crease down the centre. I've taken it over to the iron and I've pressed a nice sharp crease along the centre and I've also added a pin to remind me where that centre is. Next, measuring six centimetres away from that pin, mark with your heat erasable pen both sides. This is for the handles. Using the marks you've made, place your handle on that mark. Make sure that your handle is facing towards the bottom of your bag and make sure that your handle's not twisted all the way around and as I've done, add the other side as well. 
Next, we have to put the handles on the other side. And to do that, simply use the handles that you've just put on, match up, add a clip, match up and add a clip. Next, I'm going to tack the handles into place. Make sure that you're doing one at a time and you don't go through all the layers of fabric. Tack fairly close to the edge across the top. You won't see these stitches in your final make. They're just holding stitches, so sew those. And then do the other side as well. Make sure you don't sew between the two. I've tacked each of my handles on. Now I'm going to fold it in half and place it inside my lining. So my bag outer is the right way around and my out my lining is still the wrong way around. So pretty sides will be together. Line up all your edges and side seams and then add some clips. I've matched the side seams and the top edges and I've added some clips all the way around and now I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and using a half an inch seam allowance sew all the way around joining the outer to the lining. Make sure again that you only sew two layers at a time so you're not sewing joining them up that you're just sewing one lining and one outer all the way around. I've sewn all the way around joining the outer to the lining and now I'm going to turn it the right way around by pulling through the gap I left at the bottom. I've turned it the right way and next I'm going to turn in the raw edges in the gap I left and sew along closing the gap up. I've sewn up the gap in the lining and I've tucked it inside. I'm now going to top stitch all the way around the top of the bag. You could use your fancy stitch now if you like. I've top stitched all the way around. Now we've got to make the divide for the bag and to do this we once again need to find the centre. As we did before to find the centre we'll find the side seams and line them up, pull across You need to do this on your ironing board. Pull your fabric out and a nice sharp crease once again. Once you've pressed your nice sharp crease down the centre, use that crease line to draw a 20 centimetre line from the top along to 20 centimetre mark on your ruler. I'm now going to draw a 20 centimetre line along that crease that I made. Once you've drawn your line along your centre crease, make sure that your handles match up to each other on both sides and make sure that the top edges all line up and add a few clips as I've done. Next, using that line, take it over the sew machine and backstitch at the top and then sew all the way down to the 20 centimetre mark and backstitch again. If you have got a jean stitch on your machine, it might be a good idea to use that for extra strength. I've sewn my line along the crease, dividing the bag into two and that's your happy days twin wine bag all ready for its wine. There's 
there's one and there's two and that's your happy days twin wine bag all finished <laughs>